Okay, you click this video because you don't want to make that mistake that I made for so long. You may already know that if you are a more experienced artist, but if you are a beginner, that video may save you like hours of your time. So as you can see, I have this guy here. I made him some time ago and his axe is attached to his body. It's one sprite and we don't want that. We want to take his axe and separate it from his body. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you see what we have now? Here is the axe. And here is his like body animation. And it's so simple that it's almost stupid that I didn't thought of this before. Look, you take this axe. You put uh, those two sprites into the game engine you want and you just place the axe here and you play those two animations at once so you know he hits the he hits with the axe it's that simple and why it's so good because if you if you take that now and we'll make a sprite bigger and we'll add the axe here can make like literally in just a seconds a new axe let's make him a I don't know a a ruby axe and here you go you have a ruby axe you put it into game engine and you have only one animation instead of like thousands of animations with each axe that's it that's all it's that simple Enjoy, because I didn't know that to this day and I'm making pixel art for like 3 years now. All the assets you saw in the video are a part of my cute fantasy RPG pack available on each ear. Check them out.